in our last video we discussed about disorders of rbcs today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is jaundice hello students i am dr faisal and you are watching biochem glasses let's get started jaundice if we see what the word jaundice actually means it means yellowish discoloration of skin and mucous membranes due to increased bilirubin levels two words are very important one is yellowish discoloration another is increased bilirubin so what is jaundice skin ka color yellow ho jana kyunki bilirubin ke level body ke andar bahut zyada ho gaye hote hain is condition ko hum log jaundice bolte hain okay so how does this jaundice happens and how it is related to the rbcs let's understand in more detail to understand this concept we have to understand destruction of rbcs how rbcs are destroyed so this is a rbc which is old and it is destroyed in the spleen when rbc it is destroyed in the spleen when rbc it's destroyed in the spleen it liberates hemoglobin jab rbc tootta hai to wahan se hemoglobin nikalta hai this hemoglobin it's broken down into two things one thing globin and other is the heme जब हीमोग्लोबिन टूटता है तो दो चीजें निकलती है ग्लोबिन एंड द हेम दिस इज प्रोटीन इट विल बी यूज अगेन इट इज यूज अगेन एंड दिस हेम इट इज फर्दर ब्रोकन डाउन इन टू टू थिंग्स वन आयरन एंड अनदर पॉरफायर इन रिंग आयरन इज अ मेटल एंड इट इज यूज अगेन बट दिस पॉरफायर इट कैन नॉट बी यूज पॉरफायरन इट कैन नॉट बी यूज अगेन so this porphyrin it's converted into bilirubin and this bilirubin it is converted into bilirubin bilirubin it is converted into bilirubin then this bilirubin it's taken to the liver where liver excretes this bilirubin in the bile and via bile this bilirubin it comes out of the body in feces so this is a normal cycle how bilirubin it is produced because jaundice is related to the bilirubin we need to understand this fundamental diagram very very important diagram in a basic way rbcs are destroyed hemoglobin is released jab hemoglobin release hota hai to do cheeze nikalti hai hemoglobin it gets destroyed and forms globin and heme globin is used again heme it is destroyed into iron which is used again and porphyrin porphyrin cannot be used it is converted to bilirubin then bilirubin is converted to bilirubin this bilirubin it's taken to the liver so liver is a very important organ which is involved in the excretion of the bilirubin liver converts this bilirubin into much soluble form which is excreted in the bile and through bile this bilirubin it comes out of the body if we see this bilirubin it can be increased by three ways okay number 1 if excess of the rbcs they are broken down excessive hemolysis okay hemolysis agar zyada rbc tootenge to zyada bilirubin banega okay number one thing second important thing if liver it is defective agar liver defective hai it will not be able to remove the bilirubin when it will not be able to remove the bilirubin it will rise so second defect is in the liver and third defect is in the tract the outflow tract from the liver if there is obstruction to the bile from the liver it cannot come out in the feces so three things which can increase the bilirubin can give rise to the jaundice number 1 excessive destruction of the rbcs number second defect in the liver and number four if there is obstruction to the bilirubin or the bile from the liver so accordingly our jaundice it's of three types okay if this diagram it's clear now we come to the types of jaundice agar hum log jaundice ki baat kare to hamare paas teen tarike ka jaundice hai jaise maine aap logo ko bataya we have three types of jaundice one is prehepatic one is hepatic one is post hepatic prehepatic is number 1 where there is excessive rbc destruction if excessive rbcs they are destroyed it is known as prehepatic because it is before liver second if there is liver dysfunction 
okay this is second point that is the second type of jaundice and third is post hepatic this is also known as obstructive because there is obstruction to the flow of bile so three types of jaundice principal one is prehepatic second is hepatic and third is post hepatic prehepatic matlab before liver what is before liver excessive destruction of rbcs hepatic means there is abnormality in the liver it's not able to take up bilirubin and it's not able to excrete it and third is whenever the liver is normal rbc is normal but the bilirubin normal bilirubin it cannot come out of the body okay so these are the three causes of the jaundice and accordingly the three types of jaundice the first type of jaundice it is also known as hemolytic jaundice it is also known as hemolytic jaundice why it is known as hemolytic jaundice because excessive of the rbcs they are getting destroyed and when will be excessive rbcs destroyed whenever there is any problem in the rbc whenever there is any problem in the rbc membrane whenever there is any problem in the hemoglobin all these things can cause excessive hemolysis so some of the common causes of prehepatic jaundice is sickle cell anemia thalassemia spherocytosis autoimmune causes some drugs some toxins all these things can cause destruction of the rbc if rbc is they are destroyed it will result into the jaundice second is the hepatic hepatic means whenever there is liver dysfunction if the liver it is not functioning properly and when it will happen it will happen in case of hepatitis in case of liver failure in case of toxins some drugs okay liver hepatitis liver failure toxins drugs and some autoimmune causes and also alcoholics alcohol causes cirrhosis of the liver and when liver it is cirrhosed it is destroyed it will cause hepatic jaundice problem is in the liver last is post hepatic post hepatic means obstruction where will be the obstruction you can say if there is obstruction in the hepatic duct if there is obstruction in the bile duct if there is obstruction in the hepato pancreatic duct if there is sphincter dysfunction if there is ca of pancreas all these things can cause obstruction like if hepatic duct it is blocked like if bile duct it is blocked hepato pancreatic duct if it is blocked if uh, sphincter of audi it's not functioning properly all these things they will cause obstruction to the flow of bile so these are chiefly the three types of jaundice uh, which uh, basically uh, happen because of hemolysis hepatic dysfunction and the post hepatic jaundice all these three jaundices they have a common presentation and what is that common presentation all the three jaundices they will be having yellow color of the skin that is known as jaundice or that is known as ictrus ictrus is yellow is color and when it is because of uh, bilirubin it is known as jaundice so yellow color hoga skin ka there will be yellow color of the skin how we will differentiate these three types of jaundice in case of prehepatic jaundice we will be having decreased hb levels because excessive hemolysis is happening there will be reduced rbcs okay if we see the blood we will be having these things if we check in case of hepatic our liver function will be abnormal if we do test to check the liver function the liver function will be abnormal liver is not able to function properly like clotting factors will be less there are many functions to check the liver so liver function will be abnormal and in case of post uh, hepatic or obstructive what will be there the stools will be pale color pale color means white color the jo feces honge the feces will be white in color because normally the color of feces it's white because of the bilirubin the bilirubin is converted into stercobilin 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 is a bilirubin compound which give yellow color to the feces but if bilirubin it is not reaching to the feces it's not reaching the intestines if it's not reaching the intestines the stools they will be pale in color so these are some of the points how we will differentiate these three kinds of jaundice what will be the treatment of this jaundice 
treatment depends upon the cause if there is excessive hemolysis we need to check why this hemolysis is there and if it is because of uh, some genetic disorder in the rbcs we need to do splenectomy we need to remove spleen because spleen is a major organ which destroys the rbcs so if we remove the spleen maybe the uh, jaundice gets cured if it's hepatic dysfunction we need to cure hepatitis we need to give some supporting drugs and if it's post hepatic if it's obstructive maybe we need to do some kind of surgery so these are some of the treatment options available for this jaundice for uh, people appearing for the need you know you need to know what is uh, jaundice definition increased bilirubin causing yellowish discoloration of the skin and uh, how bilirubin is produced bilirubin is produced from the hemoglobin okay and uh, uh, what are the different types of jaundice prehepatic hepatic and the post hepatic you can say hemolytic jaundice and non hemolytic jaundice these are the broad classifications i hope the concept of jaundice is uh, clear to you in our next video we will be discussing uh, uh, regarding wbcs uh, basics of wbcs and in subsequent lectures we will be discussing the disorders of the wbcs and the functions of wbcs if you have uh, any query you can uh, write in the comment box uh, if you like this video then share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you